everybody, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, as far as... oops, I'm not clicked into the game there. There we go. Uh, we are about to take the trials to become a Jedi. So, let's go. Like, comment, and subscribe. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? I'm ready to continue my training. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy in the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations. You must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. I am ready for the test, Master Shark. These Char. tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions in everything you do you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our Order. There is no emotion. Okay. I actually know the Jedi Code. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is only the Force. You have learned your studies well, Apprentice. It will not be long before Thank you, Obi -Wan you are a member of our Order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our Order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our Order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Well, we passed the test, boys. Well, I passed the test anyway. But yeah, I actually, I learned the Jedi Code because of watching the Clone Wars. Obi-Wan Kenobi quotes the code in one of the episodes. Oh, hello. Shiro does keep me back like this, but I'm not like to fight with a real lightsaber. Do not underestimate the strength of your Cortosis blade, young Padawan. It's not a lightsaber, it is nothing. Perhaps that is the reason you have not advanced lightsaber training. Two heads charge too over eager. Delicate and subtle, one that caused great harm to its wielder if not used properly. Reflect on what you have learned. Ah, there's... Oh. Okay, so you could have found out just from observing people. Instead of just, um having the advantage of knowing what it was. <laughs> okay, where might I find Master Dorak? I assume in here? Are you Dorak, or is the Yoda the Dorak? Oh, you're Dorak. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. Green's my this favorite color. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. What colors are there? Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. 
They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. I think I'm a dream's my favorite color. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A okay. woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Stop the thugs find out why. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Find out why he turns the dark side and try to turn him back yes, to the I light. Suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? <laughs> try to pick the lock or knock. I went smash on the door. I don't know if I would knock though. I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, I am a no suitable nuts. as a Jedi Consular. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Oh, so you get to pick either way, but green's my favorite, and I was answering honestly, it led to Consular, so green Here it is. is a green crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you on how to construct it. Hey, we got a level up there. Jedi Consular. Nice. Sure. Alright, back to Master Zar. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. I'm excited. Am I doing it alone? Oh, is it just cutscene? Nice. 19 or 20 for a critical. Mm -hmm. I have a lightsaber master. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. Interesting. There have been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Should I know anything else about lightsabers? Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? I am ready to face the third trial. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cath Hounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. What's causing this corruption? The Cath Hounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. Do you have no other guidance? I can say no more. 
some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the Dark Path are not always lost forever. The Dark Side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the Dark Side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the Force be with you. All right. What do you got to say, Bastila? If you have questions, you should direct them toward the Jedi Council members. All right, nice talking to you. Excuse me, Karth. Okay, um, so we're going to cap this video here. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.